Wicked, wicked, wicked. Wow, wow, Wes. You say, leave us. Please leave us in our chambers. Give us peace. God. Don't make us tap dance. Welcome. Welcome to the show. What a velvety hell we fucking I mean, brought upon ourselves. God. <laughs> These golden handcuffs. Yeah. <laughs> dude, speaking of which, Patreon, dude, sent us a gift. Oh, speaking of golden handcuffs, Spe- I love Yeah, Patreon. speaking of which, they sent us a gift. The creative journey is full of unforgettable blah. Yeah. What did you no, fucking on, get? No, I'm kidding. Let's talk about it's the creative joke. journey. It's a joke. The creative journey is full of unforgettable moments. <laughs> and today we're celebrating a special one. You've created one of the biggest communities on Patreon with the people who love what you do. That's huge. Here's a gift from us crafted by artist Tina Yu <laughs> to mark this incredible achievement. Congratulations on being one of the first ever winners of the Creator Milestone Award. We can't wait to see what you do next. That's from Jack Conti, CEO of Patreon. I was honestly, I Thank didn't want you. to say this, but I was like, if they're not Lambo keys, I'm going to be fucking furious. These are definitely not Lambo keys. What? <laughs> the fuck kind of guys do you think we are? <laughs> Wow, Patreon. Can we share this? What the fuck? <laughs> we can take turns with this. <laughs> yeah, I think it's sick as hell. Dude, we got to share? There better be two of these things in here. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Patreon. Dude, we got one. We didn't even get two. I got to share. <laughs> this is your week. Next week's no, my week. This is, yours. <laughs> this is obviously yours. No, dude, we got to share. How does it? Uh, this is Patreon what is it? Creativity Awards, dude. We came up with the super creative podcast. <laughs> this is us. <laughs> This is us. See, let me see. It represents the creative mind. That's us thinking about oh, different shit, dude. slurs. Hold on, yo. <laughs> Let's, or that's us. Maybe this is us, dude. We're in the box, and then we came outside of it with our thoughts. Creativity. Now you're thinking outside creativity. of the creativity. There's, there's a destructive element to creativity. Uh, Does it stand up? Or no. Just... All right. My well, wife. My life. My uh, my wife might like this fucking bull crap. <laughs> No, it's very, very. It's thoughtful. fucking sick, dude. It's better than Lambo. I, keys. I bet you this thing's worth a ton of money. I guarantee it is. Those are we real jewels. Those are real jewels. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they are real jewels. Dude, Wes Watson has a Lamborghini yacht, dude. What the fuck are no, we he doing? Doesn't. Sma- there might be Lambo keys inside of it. Smash it. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, real fucking heavy. <laughs> it is heavy. Uh, it might be a bomb. You have to come up with creative ways to set it. I don't understand. There's nothing else in that box? Dude, I don't think so. There's a ton of just like this stuff. Dude, give us like a $100 gift certificate, dude. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I don't think there's anything else. There's a ton of this paper stuff. That's right. it, dude. Well, thank you, Patreon. Thank you. And thank, and you thank you for this. Miss you for your, your work. Beautiful art. Beautiful, beautiful uh, art. I'll subscribe to your Patreon, Miss You. I'm sure you have one. Miss You probably has a Patreon. Subscribe to misuse Patreon, I guess. <laughs> the hell, dude? We got <laughs> fucked. <That's crazy>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Patreon. Uh, we should send them a gift, too. Yeah. We should have your daughter package. craft something. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is beautiful. I'll just scour my fridge for That pictures. is beautiful. It'll go nicely next to my collection of blue books that I've assembled. <laughs> 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 Damn, this thing's fucking nuts. Uh, I think... Uh, what? Let's see if T- Tina. I got chill on the mattress. Making she is me. a very famous artist. Yeah, she is, dude. This it's is about- actually very. Whoa, she's big, dude. Yeah. What is it? What's it? What are you talking? This is about? A, I think we're. I think that we were set up with a fine piece of art. Oh, that's what's up. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Can we get a? Uh, Thank you. Can we get a price on this thing. Uh, let me see what her art goes for. What's it's your last a, name? Tina Yu. Why yeah, you? I think it's. Uh, oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, yeah these things are expensive. Nice. That makes me feel so much better. These little tiny ones are going for six fifty. Oh, nice, dude. That makes me feel that. so much better. <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice piece as well. If this isn't worth ten thousand dollars, I'm gonna kill myself. I dude. think this is probably worth two grand. Oh, thank God, grand yeah. piece. And that's only gonna true you know, go up in value. True. I have to. Preserve we are this. in our Jay Z phase of out the hood. Now it's time to as- assemble art and <laughs> blue books. We are. We'll teach you guys about money. That's what our next album is about. True that is how to get out the hood. How to pull your pants up and balance a checkbook. <laughs> <laughs> how to pull your d- car hearts up, dude. We gotta get these guys to pull up their car hearts, dude. A this lot is... of mechanics sag. A lot of white mechanics. There is a, a lot of those guys' car hearts are sagging. When I go in there, it's like. I think it's from like their type two diabetes, like wasting away their muscle <laughs> muscles on their body. <laughs> but a lot of yeah, those guys yeah. sag too. Yeah. So just think about that. That is something to consider. So beautiful. Wow. So beautiful. I take it back. I thought I thought I I didn't think it was great, and then I found out it was. It's art, dude. It is art. It is art. Some people don't like this podcast, but then they listen. They go, "Wow, hold on, this is hold actually." On th- I thought it, this was crap, and it turns out it's good. <laughs> I honestly, they they. I have high when someone's like, dude, trust me, you're gonna want to see. I'm like, okay, maybe that we got fucking is way better than a fucking plaque. You're talking about his and his four wheeler. I'm thinking his and his four wheelers, dude. I'm thinking Raptors, dude. They did know we. They should know we moved to Texas. They should have provided us with some fire. Thought it was gonna be a gun or just hollow points. Yeah, gun or bullets. Some, yeah, a grenade. Tina, you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Tina. No, for real, it is a good job, Tina. You did a fantastic job. Ooh, I, I didn't just... know what to follow. Interesting. Oh, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have it. Josh, what the oh, fuck was that, you oh, pervert? Josh. God damn. <laughs> Josh saw one picture of Tina and hit Yo, you wanna, Josh, you want to take this thing into the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> you want to tribute you this? You want to kiss this thing for creep. a second, dude? You creeped in? <laughs> that was crazy you did that. Oh, dude. <laughs> Sorry, we have a screen now, and Josh, we're seeing Josh's activity on the this internet. Will, <laughs> this will be up on the screen. Oh. We can pop this up. What'd you just do? My that's my sunglasses. Oh, just these pieces of crap. I thought you broke our precious Tina U. No, I'm telling you, there might be keys inside of that thing though. <laughs> I think I think curiosity is gonna get your cat when I'm not around. <laughs> I think a hammer is going to that thing. Don't you dare. I would never. All right. I would never. So what the hell's up? How was uh how was Fakersfield, California? Fakersfield was a fucking nightmare, <laughs> dude. Holy shit. Why? I told every single comedian I told. I was like, I'm going to Bakersfield this weekend. They were like, why? We are like, oof, get ready. And I was like, oh, shut up. It was all like LA guys. I was like, you guys are being pussies. Yeah, true. You guys don't know what it's like on the fucking East Coast. True. East where Coast where is Bakersfield? Uh, it's like an hour and a half, depending, I mean, obviously depending on that fucking LA traffic. It's true. like an hour or two north of LA. Okay. Hour south of Fresno. It was... Uh, it was everything they said it was going to be and more. What was it? Just it like, was just a fucking, it's like an oil town. It's like an old, what? so I think there was a lot of the, the boys who were working, a lot of working men. True, true. They were ready to let off some steam. Like guys that don't have stuff like this, you're saying? Guys that would be fuming if they saw that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got to get that out of my house. <laughs> not good, not good, no disrespect to you. I'm just saying if, uh, if I have visitors, For they sure. come in and there's the only... Everything else in here is beautiful blue books. True. <laughs> and beautiful blue art. This is a good pop of color. This is my I've got a little Eiffel 56 house going. <laughs> oh, blue. I need a blue house. <laughs> With a blue car. I need a blue car. Oh, <laughs> Dude, good. don't break the U. Uh, Bakersfield was fucking crazy, dude. They were crazy. This is a crowd. Brian guys? Moses opened for me. He got on stage. It, um, before he said his first word, a guy was like, where's she? <laughs> <laughs> then I got on stage and that guy left during my set. The guy who was being a cocksucker. <laughs> guy in the, so I nice. finished a joke. A guy in the front row goes, you stink. <laughs> and I was like, what? And he goes, no, I said Jews stink. And I was oh, like, no, dude. what the no, fuck are you dude. doing, dude? And I was like, like a bad dream. It really was. And then I was like, well, I mean, security's obviously doing nothing. They're just sitting there because yeah. there was a guy sitting next to the side of the stage. I was like, so don't worry. You can say whatever you want. Security here sucks. <laughs> and then I look back and security's fighting a guy like four <laughs> rows back. I was like, never mind. Security's going hard as fuck, dude. It was chaos. And it was hot. It was hot. Well, on you're set. in theater now, too. Field so rules. The theater, the security all have flashlights. They oh, they were. Out. Hey, hey, who, what are you yeah, doing out there? Yeah, they were. Uh, security was going fucking nuts in there. There was fights. <laughs> there was fights, dude. 
Uh, <laughs> it was boys just got off the, the oil theater. Is fucking awesome though, and I like ba- I like the town of Baker. Did you really? It's like an old shitty town. It's very nice. It's kind of nice. It's one of the few towns I've been to that still looks like a unique place. Yeah. You know? No, that makes sense. Bakersfield's good, but uh, the shows, the boys were just rowdy. That's all. True. I think that I could be wrong, but I was, I, I went to that theater, the Fox Theater, and then I was on the flight home. I was watching Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and I think she goes to that theater in the really? movie. Really? Yeah. I did the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood when I saw it. I was, there you go. I was laughing all, all weekend thinking about you coming out and being like, what's up, Fakersfield? Fakers. <laughs> <laughs> that would have resulted in chaos. <laughs> They'd be like, you don't call us that. We're not Fakers. Fuck you. <laughs> We're not fucking Fakers, They were dude. whistling. Really? Like, guys kept whistling in between jokes. Oh, and I was man. like, God, please stop. And then, of course, that resulted in <laughs> nonstop whistling for the rest of the show. Jesus Christ, <laughs> it was, dude. It was... It was. Did uh, you take a time? It sounds like you took a time machine and like performed for Cowboys. I, get, I did. That's crazy. I did, dude. They were rooting, tooting. But then uh, <laughs> I'll be back. True. I'll be. I need revenge. You got to go back to Fakersfield. Um, and then I did the Celebrity Theater in Phoenix, which was a oh, dream come true. I was, was afraid nice. of the round. Oh, like, how is that? It was great. The first time I did it, I was very nervous, and we used a mic with a cord. Yeah, which made a big difference because when you're walking around, that. You got yeah, lassoed. Like tripping up. Took I lassoed down. myself. On the, I just only turned left the first time I did it. But uh, this time it was, it was wireless and it made a world of difference. Yeah, it's got to be nice. Uh, I also was talking shit, which I have since been paying for. It was in Phoenix and the Phillies beat them that night. Mm. And they all, somebody yelled out. They were like, Philly sucks. I was like, scoreboard pussy. It was 6-1, dude. Yeah. Now you got to go back to Philly. That's it. Good season. <sighs> Those are At the least Phillies. the Cardinals are good. Good season. True. Those are the Phillies I know, though. Just Those were the Phillies we it, knew, dude. dude. Just blowing it. Oh. Yeah, I, I heard yesterday. How do you feel about your Phillies? I told you, I'm proud of them, man. They made it that far. I'm proud of my Phillies for making it that far. <laughs> I really am. I mean, dude, getting up 6-1 and one and blowing it, it's kind of loser shit, but, yeah. you know, that's what we do. <laughs> they up, they, no, they won that game. That oh. was six one was the score. They were up two nothing in the series. Oh my bad, my bad. Then they went back. Oh, yeah, no, that would be like then a it was, yeah, it was, Then they went back to Phoenix, lost the first two, yeah. so it's two two. Then they won game three in Phoenix to make it three two Phillies. That's what it was. So now we got Phoenix. six and seven back in Philly. And they blew and it. they fucking blew and they it. They fucking blew it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Our friend was there. It was funny too because he took it was his. I think his cousin was supposed to bring his wife, but his cousin's wife is pregnant. So I was telling him, I'm like, yeah, it's actually not good for a pregnant lady to be in there. It might be. You know, pretty crazy. He was like, honestly, I don't feel comfortable being there myself yeah, as was. a grown man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. like, I don't feel comfortable being yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, Blizz is a delicate flower, dude. Blizz is very delicate. He's a delicate flower. I can't imagine him at that game. He was there. He was <laughs> like, crazy. he was like, the place is either going to explode or implode yeah. either way. I think it. I think it was probably a very solemn exit. I'm glad he got to go there and witness a catastrophic loss. Yeah, I mean, you got to get into that too. Just be, just getting into like the huge. Just That's all I see, dude. Watching how many people were there that at the Citizens Bank uh, Park? Forty two thousand. I, I think. can get into that. Just watching like forty two thousand people's spirits deflate. It's it's, like, <laughs> yeah. I do it all the time. I'm one of the people. Every Notre Dame game I go to, I'm like, why? Why not us, dude? Why can't we get fucking one? I'm going back to the hotel. <laughs> it takes five hours to get back to the hotel. You're just furious oh <laughs> super bowl same thing oh that was Although rough. super bowl is tough because it's 50 50 so yeah the, the attendance uh, you get to watch people you get to watch people in pure elation and ecstasy it's night and day yeah while you're walking out hung over sad God, about a sports sucks. game and then you're like why do i care oh, why do i care why so the much? fuck do i care about this i got my own problems <laughs> Like, these guys are supposed to help me get rid of my problems and they're fucking causing more problems. <laughs> and I lost money too. And that. I fucking lost a lot of money. <laughs> they fucked up my investments. But don't worry. It's all looking up now that we've got our hands on this fine Tina U. True. <laughs> <laughs> We're back financially. <laughs> this is the Eagles. Don't ear. fucking drop that shit, dude. I, dude it, it's meant to be dropped. It's set up this to break. This thing's haunted, dude. It's set up to break. They're probably fucking recording other shit through here, dude. This is I'm, this is going to the McCusker house. I gotta get this debug. The kids are gonna love it. Yeah, my fucking yeah, they'd love it. I mean, one could make an argument that was made for. There we go. There it is. Now it's standing up. Oh, nice. I mean, my yeah, my daughter. actually, this could be a fine decoration. Although I do want it out of the house. 
Yeah, really. It does seem haunted, and I, I'm here alone. True. I've got a. I'm. I am afraid of ghosts. True. The ghosts have been acting up lately. Really? Is it still spooky here? You're settling in. It's still spooky. I, yeah, because I don't realize it. Because last week I was just doing shows, so I was coming home a little fucked up. Yeah, true. No ghosts. Bother. That is the ghost last, remedy. I was I was sober last night, and uh, that's why the farmer took to the whiskey. Yes. It'd be scary as hell. It's so scary. Yeah, dude, you're on a fucking farm by yourself with like yeah. just a little bunch of little kids, and you're like, damn, I'm the I'm the sole representative of this family against all the forces of nature. I'd take to the bottle too. <laughs> Stop looking at this Stop lady. Stop looking at Black you, just gets distracted us. Damn, that's fucking sick, though. Gosh, how do you say that word? Goache. I'm. Uh, this is a trap. How the fuck do you say gosh? Gosh, I think gosh. You say I think it's yeah. gosh. That's a different thing. It's goache. It's ble- I think goache means bleeding hente. <laughs> I had a feeling the screen was a bad idea. I'm just gonna look at screens. <laughs> the hell There's nothing talking? you can put up there that's not. Yeah, true. I'm still gonna stare at that. But we're talking ghosts, and uh, so you think there's ghosts? There could be some ghosts. I hope there's not. I hope there's none. I wish you a ghost-free house. I got, dude. I got something scarier than ghosts. Recently, I went out. Me and Brittany went out. It was our our anniversary. Makes so, no sense. We have like. There's like a range from like two weeks where it's like this day, then that day, and this day we got married in real life, and then we had like a court. Do you guys have your lay the pipe anniversary? She would remember. Yeah. I wish I knew. <laughs> I, I'm gonna get it out of her, dude. It might have been last night. Might have been lay the pipe anniversary, dude. I, I mean, I, I'll blush telling the details, but it was just like when women go off birth control, they get locked in this natural cycle where they're just like, you know what I'm talking about? They're not horny at all. They, I mean, they're on the period, so it's like, how does he know? He um, knows. Yeah, I'm married. There's, there's about married. a week they're really horny. Yes. Yeah. When they go off that thing, like they get, they just want to bust, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> 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 she's on that point where she just wants, yeah. to, and it's when they're, they could get pregnant. So like, it's like, it's fucked, dude. It's not fair. Cause they're just like, they, it, two weeks out of the month, they're on the period or whatever it is. Like, I think it's like two, I think it's like 30 days out of the month they're on the period. Yeah. And then one day they get horny. <laughs> like, dude, they, when they go on their natural cycle, it's pretty wild, but they get so fucking horny about that. And dude, so she like last night was like, we had sex. Like she was like, it, it, she was, it's like you flip, like, it's like, you know, when you bother a girl all day, like, can we please have sex yes. today? And just like, you're like at lunchtime, like we're having sex, right? They start to do that. And you're kind of like. All right, yeah, like I'll, then I like, don't want to do it. Well, my thing is like I will, just like we definitely will, just chill. Yeah. We're definitely gonna bone. Like I'm definitely down to bone. Yes. We'll we'll definitely bone. So last night, dude, I'm sitting there, we're boning. I was. How hard did you go boning? Were you like she wants it? I'm gonna give her the extra fucking. Oh, you add oh a little, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, usually could. it's kind of it's total fit. It's a favor. It's just she's yeah. just kind of like, yeah, man, just do what you gotta do. Oh. Poor guy. And I'm like, thanks, babe. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, you can get into that. I mean, there's yeah. something that sometimes is a little hot about that. There is something nice. There is something it's there. It's a prairie wife, dude. Yeah. Just fucking like, hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah, get it in. Get it out. God. <laughs> get the evil out of you, boy. <laughs> but yeah, no. So I was like, I was fully locked in. I, I mean, I was sensei, dude. I was fully yes. in my head. <laughs> my she head. entered your dojo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have this big thing now is we're like, we, we have a wine rack in our house. So we're always drinking wine now. <laughs> so like my head, I'm, I have please, like. Please, dude. Please <laughs> become a fat drunk. <laughs> it would make me so happy. What happens usually? is I get placed on such a vicious no fap yeah. that like by the time it's time to bone I'm fucking crumbing but you I got had, a bigger house now right yeah yeah you can find you can slink off dude I oh, know you true I mean yeah. dude I have options at night time yeah. it's da- I mean I'm talking to downstairs bathroom where I can kind of look out the window and like see stuff outside it, it's, <laughs> that helps it's kind of nice helps the experience. it's kind of nice it has an element you know <laughs> wait <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it adds an element. I mean, yes. there's a fence. I don't think anyone can see. And if they can, that's, you know. You could have a Wilson. I'm talking like the moon is beaming right on me. could have a Wilson over there. Just True. True. <laughs> we got Wilson already. Really? A guy like leaned over and was like, hey, just so you know, blah, 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 blah. Dude's, dude's a man. Nice. Oh, I didn't tell you this, dude. Fucking the week after I came back from here, or that the day I came back from, from your house. Yeah. I was like, no, maybe that was a week before. Either way, it was like when we first got, no, it was the week before. When I first, I like went out to record. When we did the one uh, in Josh's studio with Tony with Tony Hinchcliffe. We were. I was coming oh, the back. Golden Pony. Tony the Pony, dude. I was like, <laughs> I was all jazzed. I'm like, oh, I think that went kind of well. I called Brittany. Like, hey, what are you up to? And she's like, I just had to ask the neighbors for money. I was like, what the fuck? 
we had a guy come hang like a TV and do other shit. And the dude, he was the weirdest dude. He's like an old, slim Texas cowboy kind of guy. He's like probably 65. So he came by. So I had to help him. I was like, dude, because I wanted to like get him out of the house. Cause like, you know, obviously Brittany's doesn't like being in the house with like strange men. It's too much of a fuck. I yeah. get it. It's too much of a temptation. I get it. And I said, yeah. hey, let me relieve you. Cowboy coming in? Dude, it was a, he was slim. Got it, man. Dude, he was so slim. Fuck. He came in, and he, and so I'm like, fuck, I want to get this guy out of here so that I can leave and I won't be late. So the dude was like, I got to hang this TV. But he was like, I don't know, man. I, this bracket's fucked up. I was like, what if I just hold the TV the whole time? He's like, you're going to hold the whole TV? And I was like, yeah, dude, no problem. Yeah. Either. So I'm, dude, I'm just fucking, oh. it, it left divots in my arms. Yeah. I'm holding the TV and this dude, he couldn't use a wrench. It was, so, it was so tight. So he's just ratcheting down with a hand ratchet. And like, dude, he's, this dude's pouring sweat and I'm sitting there blocked by the TV and finally we move. So we're, we're face to face. <laughs> the TV moves. And I was like, how do you like doing it the old fashioned way? <laughs> dude, dude, he just drips sweat off his face, looked at me in disbelief. It was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was the fucking funniest did he, thing. Did he think it was funny? He kind of laughed. Right, he had a moment of disbelief and then he just fucking gave it and All shook right, his head and laughed. It was Damn, just like, so Fucking Jesus funny. Christ, dude. But then this guy, I asked him, do you take Venmo? He goes, no. He goes, I got beat on Venmo one time, which I'm like, dumbass. But I was like, how? I, I think someone for real was like, I'll Venmo you. <laughs> just never just talked never to him again. <laughs> <laughs> like, so he goes, I was, he's like, I'll take cash or check. I said, cool. I cash on me. I was like, I'll pay you. And then I forgot. I just left. So I left. He finished. Dude, it was 65 bucks. Yeah, I'm not trying to big dog him, but it's 60. It's 65 dollars. Yeah, and Brittany was like, "I'll write you a check." He goes, "No checks, just cash." I'm like, "Slim, sick." I know it's kind of tough. I mean, he's a cowboy. Yeah. So then I didn't know this, so I call her like, "Yo, what, what's up?" And she's like, "I had to go to the fucking neighbor's house and ask for money. We'd been there for like three days." So I'm like, "Damn, that's." I'm like, "Good on you for even doing that." That's I crazy. I would have told the guy, "Fuck off!" Like, I will pay you, but I'm yeah. not going to ask for money. So she had to go ask for cash from our two of our neighbors. The first lady's like, "I don't have cash, but I'll take you to our other neighbor's house." So that was the guy who Wilson us, let us borrow like 70 bucks. Then I had to come back, which was funny because I got to knock up and be like, yeah, my wife was out with the alms bowl. Let me fucking make right, dude. She's out begging again. <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah. You're a lunatic. <laughs> they heard my wife took up alms, dude. Sorry. For I was like, thanks for pitying us. And they're they just laughing. So I, had to get, I gave him seven. I was like, you have 70 bucks, dude. You guys were off to a wild start in the neighborhood. It was. It was a bad. You got to let them know. Poor form, dude. Now it's good to let the neighborhood we were know. There for three There's days. a new family of disruptors. <laughs> and begged for money. The disruptor family has moved in. Yeah, and I'm beating and looking out the moon in the window, dude. That's actually kind looking of Looking at the moon is nice, jacking off. Because then you get to imagine like a hot chick is looking at the same moon right uh, now. A thousand <laughs> times. I mean, it's literally, that moon is just like calling forth her eggs and stuff, dude. Mm. I mean, I'm totally tapped in. Totally Just tapped jacking in. off to the moon. Dude, my stomach pimples went away for some reason. <laughs> At the end, yeah, you I'm lose I'm totally it. tapped in. I'm jacking <laughs> off to the moon. It's like the Zen thing where you're just a finger pointing to the moon and eventually you become the moon itself. It's just, that's my boner, dude. Oh, the finger yeah. that points us to the moon. <laughs> God damn. That's the teaching. The teaching's the finger the pointing to the moon. The teachings are fucking nuts. The teaching's the finger pointing to the moon, but the moon's the thing itself, not the teaching. The teaching's a vehicle. Of course. But dude, so like <laughs> I wish I could take myself seriously enough to believe in any of that. I can't. I mean, Zen's not serious in and of itself. I know. Yeah, you're what, just zero ego or whatever. But still, the That's idea the of me standing and pointing at the moon. Well, you don't have to physically or, point. Yeah. Damn, you know as much about Zen as I know about sports, dude. What? <laughs> I'm like, the game was seven to one series. No, I mean, but what is, what is this pointing you at the moon? You don't physically point. The teaching's pointing to the moon. The teaching? But the teaching shouldn't be taken too What's the secret. teaching? Just the sacred teachings, dude. Well, I know that. I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I can say, yeah, it's just the sacred teachings. <laughs> I mean, so what's it's the too, teaching? It's too much to go into. No, give me a fucking summary of the sacred Zen teachings. <laughs> All right, let me think for a second. I mean, the whole thing is that you're not separate from the... It's a very simple. It's you're not separate from the universe at all. Your idea of separateness is just an illusion that causes a bunch of pain and confusion. And once you ditch your separate self and you just say, I'm that and this, you just chill. Mm. You're, just an, you're just part of an ancient, eternal form that's swirling around that you can't comprehend yeah and you're experiencing it as a separate self but in reality the separation is an illusion and you are it's like thou art that tatvamasi you are the universe not your separate self mm. and you're both it's not two it's not two not one it's yeah either nor so 
Well, that's a bunch of fucking total <laughs> mumbo jumbo. They can fuck themselves. Because <laughs> when something bad happens to me, I don't think that tree gives a fuck out there. I mean, yeah, it wouldn't. It would be like, don't be, don't worry about no, it. No, I wouldn't think it. it's shit. It's a piece of shit. It's a self organizing system, dude. Yeah, who cares? Where was the tree inside the seed? True. I never even <laughs> fucking considered this. <laughs> yep. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Makes perfect sense. That's going to handle business. <laughs> if I focus on that, things will work out. <laughs> well, you're not at your point yet. That's why the Hindus had it all separated to where yeah. you're just in, you're in professional Fuck mode. Them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're in professional mode, dude. Yeah. And then once you become like 50, 60, then you can start to think about it. You can't, you shouldn't think about this stuff too early. It can kind of really? Really? Uh, that's the Hindus had it to where like you were like a baby, then you were school age people, then you were professional from like twenty to forty, then around forty, fifty ish, you got to then you got to chill and be like, mm. all right, you guys handle business. Now you guys have to support me, and you just go sit in a hut and just fucking chill. All right, it's kind of nice. I do agree with that. People can come consult you, but you're like, dude, I did my time. So retirement. Yeah, but it was more the retirement was more so focused uh, primarily with like shedding entirely your sense of self, rather than like watching TV and just fucking sitting there and fucking wasting life. What a better way to shed yourself than watch a TV, a show. True. That is true. Too. Dude, I'm not knocking it, dude. I No, no, no. I agree. <clears throat> I'm, just, I'm just contributing to the conversation. <laughs> We're the same, dude. True. I mean, dude, they would. that's very zen of you, dude. I am that's very true. zen. No, for real. No bullshit. You are very zen. I'm pr yeah. <laughs> One pointedness of mine, too. Other than ghosts. Well... Other than being afraid of ghosts lately. They can catch you, though. It is just the Halloween season. True. I went out. I opened the door last night. There's neighbors have pumpkins. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you should tell them. Like, can you please? Like, can you please remove those? Like, I came outside, and I know this sounds ridiculous, but they did give me a fright. I was heebie-jeebied <laughs> out. I had to lay down. <laughs> oh, dude, I got fucking so scared the other night. Me and Brittany, when we went out for our anniversary, uh, we were like, she took, dude, we had, it was a nice sushi dinner. We were drinking. It was a fun time. And then she took, she was all gung-ho to smoke some weed. Took one hit, dude. Had a total girl panic attack. So now I'm sitting there. Just, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just down with this girl having a panic attack. Yeah. Now I'm sitting there being like, dude, it's all good. We'll just go home. Not worried about it. We're on the way home. <laughs> dude. This guy, this poor Uber driver picks us up. She's like, <sighs> and he's thinking that she's going to throw up. So I was like, dude. We just smoked some weed. She's bugging out. Like, yeah, we're not going to throw up. It's no big deal. Cause you started blowing red lights and shit. And I'm like, dude, we're good. Uh, so I'm talking I'm the whole time. Like, Britt, you're good. She's like, no, I'm not. I don't feel right. And I'm you like, gotta rush through the you red lights. she goes, you don't understand. I'm like, oh, but I do, dude. I was like, you don't think I've went through the old fun house myself? <laughs> dude. She's like, that's not fucking funny. <laughs> I was like, I spent some time in the fun house myself. Yeah. Dude, she was like, that's not funny. Oh, you're making it. Well, dude, and I go, here's what's going to happen. We're going to get home. You're going to lay in bed every time. You're going to instantly pass out. Yeah. Every single time she has a weed panic attack, she gets into bed. She's like, I'm dying. Call the hospital. I go, no, I'm not. Lay down. She goes, and passes out. But then I got in the fucking room. I laid down and I didn't realize how high I was. So then all of a sudden I'm laying there and I'm going, the ceiling could fall on me. And I'm like, there's the building could collapse. I had that thought. Dude. I had that dude, thought. Dude, how fucking scary is Wait, that? Wait, hold on. I had that thought last night. Hey, mine was like two nights ago. Dude, I was laying Wait, there. Wait, why are we both thinking about that? I don't know. Dude, I don't know, man. I was why these big ass beams above me, and I was like, "Yeah, this is a tall ceiling." I was like, "Did Texas get earthquakes?" <laughs> <laughs> this thing just collapsed and smashed me. <laughs> I laid in bed for like forty minutes, being like, "Dude, this shit could How totally fall." Yeah, there's got to be, yeah, there's got to be something internal there. I think there is. I, I remember we're uh, both having just anxiety. I think it's a manifestation of anxiety. I've, I yeah, worked with a kid Literally one time. The ceiling falling in on you. Well, I, yeah, I think when things are unstable, you start to distrust like structures. Because I worked, <laughs> I worked with a kid. He was like, I was like working with him because he was afraid of heights. And I'm like, he's like, well, it's not so much the heights as like the building might fall. And I was like, well, damn, bro. Now that you say it that way, I was like, <laughs> this motherfucker could fall. I guess dude. we're fucked. Yeah. But yeah, he had a very unstable setup, and I was like, damn, that's kind of crazy. He's like, he doesn't trust physical structures because he's so emotionally unsound. And there I was three three weeks later, or, you know, years later, just like, this ceiling could fucking fall. Yeah. There's a crack up there in that ceiling. 
My problem is my eye on that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought, man, if this thing shifts a little. How cool is the brain, though, to be like, it's nothing uh, wrong with me. It's this building could possibly fall down and crush me. I'm doing everything right. (laughs) I'm handling my business. I don't don't trust the engineering. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, you get the beams in my room are heavy, though. I was laying right underneath. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this would squash me like a bug. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, dude. This I thing mean, could go at any fucking I, second. I did keep myself from Googling buildings. I was about to be like, they got to fall sometimes. Yeah. They got to just fall. I mean, they build millions of houses around the world. Some of them probably are just like, oops. Oh, gosh. yeah. Completely crushed. Yeah. Although, Those shout fucking out to Hindus, bro. They get hit with earthquakes. Shout out to Nate and Lemaire, dude. They need They're, to focus more on structure instead of true. outer space. They could. They They need to focus on roads (laughs) and infrastructure, and then we can figure out whether or not us and Dude, I mean, the East can learn from the West as well, dude. There's no mistake in that. (laughs) For sure. (laughs) Certainly. (laughs) LaMera and Nate were talking about that when they came on one week when you were gone, how dudes, there's all these videos of dudes in India just like at parties, leaning against the wall and falling seven (laughs) stories. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Their structures are not sound. (laughs) That'd be so scary. They need sound, dude. Sound structures are. It is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, get too. I don't want to stunt weeds. too hard on them. You need colonial housing, uh, dude. It's <laughs> crazy, man. I'm talking just a square box, fucking sloped roof. You can put a big modern window in the front of it too. No one's, you know. Yeah. I mean, colonial house with the modern flair. It's like, why don't we just airdrop those, dude? Modular colonial style houses with modern flares. Yeah, It'd be awesome. We'd have to have a lot of them. Yeah, have they examined the whole thing of like, like, what, how much? What's the square footage of the houses over there? It's like, well, you got you guys square footage. Average enough. square foot footage of uh, houses in India. Yeah, no wonder you guys are pissed. You guys can't barely entertain. I, I think the Indians are kind of chill. I think they live on like compound. The Indians are chill. No, yeah, so. yeah, the Indians I think are people chill. People from India are fucking chilling out. Four hundred ninety-four square feet. Okay, one hundred three square foot per person. Four hundred five square feet. Yeah, that's okay. That's not the best. Damn, thirty three percent of Indians live in less space than U.S. prisoners. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Dude. No wonder they're so fucking horny. True. True. Holy shit, dude. True. I mean, you can't even. F- you never get to jag off, and then you get a fucking cell phone. You get to fucking DM ladies. And every beat you have is fucking like. bitch. Could be a family under. You're yeah. in like a 200 square foot space with six of your siblings. I mean, it's, it is like prison beating. Yeah. Damn, dude, I didn't know that. 30, 33% of Indians yeah. live in less square footage than. We definitely have to do something. We gotta fucking. I'm not helping. <laughs> you gotta make their houses bigger, dude, yeah. so they're happy. <laughs> They, they'll just be happy like us, dude, in America. Yeah. Once you get a big house, everything kind of fucking gets a little easier, you know? Has the suicide rate gone down in America? I feel like that should be dropping now. Yeah? I hope. I don't know. What the hell? What for? Why do you think we're chilling? I don't know. You'd think it would fucking... Now that Trump's gone. Oh, yeah, true. Because he was causing... Nope. And nope. Suicide rate's going up steadily. God damn it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't... Only 50,000 people, though. Only 50,000? Yeah. Okay. Not bad. 50,000 out of, what, 350 million? Yeah. Per year? That's right. Yeah, when you look at it, that's bright. That's bright sided. <laughs> that's glass apple. <laughs> uh, that's for sure bright side. If you think about it that way, it's like, guys, what are we crying about? There was a 40% increase in only 20 years. Oop. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I think not good. Here's the thing though, because I looked into this and it was like it's it's all time high. It's like it's not. This is we're at like World War II levels of suicide. Suicide would like dip and wane. I thought it was like we're at like an unprecedented high. We're not at all. It's like we're reaching what we're like getting back to the high. We're highest. getting back to our roots. Yeah, we're getting back to what made us truly great. <laughs> we're getting back to <laughs> what year was 9 11? <laughs> is this your searches, dude? <laughs> I do a lot Are of you podcasts. The dumbest guy of all. I do, I do a lot of podcasts. <laughs> what year did 9 11 happen? <sighs> Who did 9 11? Be honest. Google. <laughs> 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 if you tell Google to be honest, does it have to tell you the truth? 
All right, 2020. Yeah, but that's the most five. people ever, not the per capita. Oh, uh, okay. There you go. So, yeah, you had it right with the rate. Yeah, I'm telling you, because I, I think Look it, that suicide in the United States wiki. Wiki wild wild. Wiki. Yeah, because a lot of times they shrink the years to like 1960, but I, I try to find it from like the 1800s, but they don't have great suicide. Because I think would. if you killed yourself in the 1800s, they would be like, shame yeah, on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the hell? They wouldn't keep like, a record of it. But I, I think, yeah, I think we're like, we're reaching like World War II or World, like Great Depression level suicides. Uh, surging death rates from suicide, drug overdose, and alcoholism. What researchers refer to as deaths of despair. Yeah, isn't that fucked I up? I do like that. I, it is a great fucking. But yeah, if we're counting drug overdoses and alcoholism, yeah. I would imagine that's skyrocketing with the types of drugs we're getting these days. So they're going to combine all those things? You no. Know? Oh, yeah, dude. The fucking Deaths of despair. Not great. Yeah. I, yeah, you a... were right. Look at that. If you look the... Right. right. 1981, that graph there. Hey, we're coming... We're just fucking coming back into a... Damn. Yeah, this is like the kill yourself part of that cycle of like strong times make gay yeah. men or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> strong times make gay men. I think it's like strong times make gay men kill themselves and then we become fucking strong as hell. And, and only the guys that were tough enough to not kill themselves <laughs> have kids. True. <laughs> the only guys that were fucking dumb enough not to kill themselves. <laughs> I'm going to figure it out. Oh, dude. I'm uh, going to get out of this. <laughs> I didn't tell you what happened to me last night, dude. So I'm sitting there. I'm, you know, I'm having Also, I'm sorry. I, Please, yeah. This is the Patreon logo. I saw that. I kind of that's put what that, that means. It's the new logo. Yeah, see, it's on the side of the box. Are they launching through us? Is this a launch? This might be a launch of the new logo. This is a launch of the new logo. Are we being used? Is this are satanic? Being, are you being popping? <laughs> is this some type of satanic sculpture? <laughs> Don't touch it, it dude. You're going to get the It does GBs. remind me of something if I have to say so myself, dude. <laughs> <laughs> True. It's got, it's got this shape to it. I fucking recognize it. That's about right. <laughs> That is absolutely about right. It's me in any pair of gym shorts just <laughs> sticking straight out, dude. The dreaded nub. Damn, dude, we got the first ever fucking Tinas Award. <laughs> Tinas Award. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, we got the, uh, excellence in Tinas. We've seen your Tinas over many episodes. We've seen you it. picking at your Tinas every <laughs> single episode. <laughs> Guys, fellas. When that fucking nicotine craving hits, you're going to want to deal with it right away. Whether you're in a restaurant flying in the friendly skies or at church with your grandma, Lucy Breakers lets you get your fix whenever and wherever you are. Easy. Each pouch has a small flavor capsule inside that fucking breaks and moistens your mouth and oh yeah. And punch it up, and it punches up the flavor with like with flavors like mint, berry, citrus, and mango. Personal favorite, I'm a bit of a mango man myself. Uh, choose your preferred nicotine strength and your favorite flavor to make the perfect combination. Also, love having some nicotine pouches on the flight. People don't like when you smoke on a plane. You get arrested. Visit Lucy, that's L-U-C-Y dot C-O, and use promo code DRENCH to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free. That's L-U-C-Y dot C-O, promo code DRENCH, to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Here comes the fine print. <laughs> Lucy products are for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. So don't even think about it, youngsters. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive fucking chemical, so don't play around with it. Hey guys, let's talk about Manscaped. If you're thinking of skipping this ad because you already have a gross trimmer that you use since college, just listen. We're talking about your balls. <laughs> to the gremlins, we're talking about your balls. You can just use whatever has been wrestling away in your shower for years. It's time to grow up and shave with Manscaped. It's time to grow up. Their Platinum Package 4.0 has everything you need to get grooming. It comes with the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. It comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0 <laughs> for ear and nose hair grooming. Crop Reviver Ball Toner and their Ultra Premium line of body products, including deodorant and body wash. You stinky fuck. Personal endorsement. Talk about shaving pubes. I, I need a good trim. <laughs> The lawnmower trimmer is a total game changer. It has a 7,000 RPM motor. That's fucking crazy. A spotlight so you can see what you're up to. 
and it's totally waterproof. So get 20% off and free shipping with code DRENCHED at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code DRENCHED. Use the platinum package because the gold standard is no longer good enough. Whatever the fuck that means. Oh my freaking oh my gosh, gosh, dude. Guys. Oh my god, yeah. Football is in full swing yes, with dude. another week of epic games. When you're looking to add to the fun, look no further than dot 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 DraftKings Sportsbook, Draft an official Kings. sports betting partner of the NFL. New customers can bet five dollars on football and get two hundred dollars instantly what? in bonus bets. Yes. Bonus bets. Jesus. All DraftKings customers can take advantage of two new offers every game day this September. Get in on the NFL Week 2 action with DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the application now and use code DRENCHED to sign up. New customers can bet just $5 and take home $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code DRENCHED. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-389. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino in Missouri, Kansas, 21 Pulse Age, on the jurisdiction, 40 in Ontario, ctkng.co slash jazz football jazz facility. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. That was so good. <laughs> Thank you. That's so hard to do. I dude. skipped a lot. <laughs> no, you didn't skip any. <laughs> no, I didn't Let skip me tell all. you my picks, dude. <laughs> what are your picks? I would just go uh, all the friends of the podcast touchdowns. Yeah, true. Just put money on Gabe and Christian McCaffrey, Kittle. Juice check move. might find it. That's a good move. Spencer Brown, fumble recovery, touchdown. That's plus 900,000. You could put 20 bucks on that. With gambling, if the average gambler loses a lot, what I would say is find someone you know who gambles, ask them what they're picking, just pick the opposite of them. Oh, yeah. Because then you're betting against the single yes. gambler. They're, you know and what I'm they're saying? a loser. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, find one of your friends with crippling gambling debt. <laughs> just bet against them. And just call them and be like, what are your picks, dude? You're really good at this. <laughs> All right, what else we got? <laughs> Huge thank you to Hamilton Devices for sponsoring today's episode. When it's time to get faded, let Hamilton do the heavy lifting. Their vapes are incredible and will take you from stressed out to relaxed in no time. When you're looking to put in as little effort as possible, try the jet stream. It's a self-propelling or it's self-propelling, so you don't even need to inhale. It has three cartridges, multiple airflow modes, and adjustable voltage, so you can choose your own adventure. What's my favorite device? God damn it, if I don't love them all. With huge clouds, full flavors, and super portable gear, Hamilton Devices has you covered. Hamilton Devices is hooking our listeners up. Go to hamiltondevices.com and use code DRENCHED15 for 15% off. Buyers must be 21 or older. That's hamiltondevices.com, code drenched 15 that's drenched one five for fifteen percent off, dude. So speaking of my penis, dude, last night I unsheathed it. I literally pulled it out of my sheath boxers. <laughs> <laughs> you pulled it through the hole? No, I wish. I have. I have yet a to fucking. Boo. Little I have yet cuckoo to. bird for the lady. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm. I'm in it. I was sitting there like I, I was like worried I was gonna bust super quick. I was like, no, I'm. I got this. I was like, I'm in full fucking control. I worked all the way to doggy style off the edge of the bed, which I'm like, dude, this is you are on. the edge of the bed king, dude. Uh, dude, you know me. I'm yes. just I'm when I'm when I'm horizontal, I'm just in my head going, I'll get to the edge. Of the, I can't yeah. start edge of the bed. There's not I'm enough gonna... friction to to gain enough power. You need to bring down. Pain. Yeah, exactly. Once you're edge of the bed, you're kind of like, dude, laying down having sex. Is you should fucking, nail like two little like basically like starter Shit, blocks. I onto the, fucking thought about it. Starter my, blocks onto the floor, dude. Well, my old room was set up in a way where I could catch the baseboard. The bed was close enough where I could catch the baseboard for traction. Now we got. Now we're generating some force. It's the best. Now your wife's paying for it. Dude, now she's yeah. <laughs> now she's realizing how wrong she was about so many things. <laughs> but I'm sitting there. I'm dude. In my head, I'm going. This will go on forever. I'm. I'm literally. I'm gonna enter. Like I'm gonna get into like tantric stuff. I was like, I might be a tantric master, dude. She reached <laughs> from behind herself and grabbed my nuts. Gone. Dead, <laughs> dead in the water, dude. I was like, "What? What the hell? Uh, oh, what are you doing?" Damn. She it crushed me. Yeah, that's why you were just recently awarded. True, TNT <laughs> <year>. award. <laughs> 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 I I was like, I was like, we we got done. I'm like, dude, what? You just busted out some fucking host stuff on me, dude. Where the hell did that come from? Tricks. She busted out the tricks. I'm like, damn, dude. I, in my head, I'm like, this will go on forever. And she was like, jump. Yeah, she she they have their tricks. Oh my they goodness. Go, All right, I've had enough of this. Yeah. 
But it was such tap a, him out for sure. Yeah. But it was such a nice ending. I was like, she goes, "Oh, you like that?" I was like, what you, "Of course I do." You reach around to me first of all. I was like, "Oh, her hand's going it, right away." I'm going, "What's she doing with her hand?" I'm all, I'm so excited. Yeah. Then she just grabbed my balls and I'm like, "What? What? That's my butt!" <laughs> oh my god, get back to my butt! Because she was, you know, trying to find my nutsack. So she reached around and she went a little too far and I went, yo. And then she grabbed my balls and I went, not gay. Uh. Did the butthole get you excited at all? It was the general area, dude. I know, but. Uh, yes, dude. It was, this, it was, she was grabbing my balls and then her fingers hit my fucking dragon skin on the back. And I went, <laughs> yo. And then she went to the balls like, that's my beehole. And she came back to the balls and I went, no, I'm done. <laughs> it was just the whole journey, dude. Yeah. It's all about the creative journey. <laughs> 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 yeah, she had me fucked up last night, dude. I just laid there a fucking gas, dude. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. It was nice. Uh, yeah. Told her, I said, bust that back out on me, dude. Yeah, I'm not into penetrative anal sex. Sure, I don't want her sure, to penetrate. Sure. I just, <laughs> I'm just saying. You like a little knocking on the door and then go, whoa, that's forbidden. Yeah, exactly. Or just, just. Nothing wrong with some forbidden stuff. But dude, I'm telling you, it was just, <laughs> you know, like when a, a girl's hand touches you, you're like, whoa, what the fuck? It was just yeah. girl fingers just traversing just a yeah. whole forbidden area. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? Out of nowhere, too. Was she gentle with your testicles? So gentle, dude. That's what you need. The worst so is when a lady just fucking manhandles your nuts. To like, dude, just like, dude. I had a, I had a talk to her. She was she used to fucking grip my fucking balls yeah, up hard as hell. And I'm like, I've, I've received somebody gripping my balls. I'm like, don't. Yeah, I, and I'm like, well, that's the end of that hurt. You know, I yeah. lost a boner. Oh, yeah. Nice. Or it's just next level now. Or it's just next it's level. Just like maybe I'm into pain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I don't. I don't like it. I'm such a baby because my and then I start instantly be like, if I fucking did that to you, you'd be fucking furious. <laughs> if I squeeze your balls like that, you'd be furious. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So last night was tight, dude. I fucking. That is cool. I was, dude. I was shocked. Yeah. I was shocked, and I told her. I said, dude, I was totally, I was totally controlled, dude. I had the remote. I was going to yep. take you into Tantric Bliss. Why did you do that host stuff to me, dude? <laughs> I was about to take you into Tantric Bliss. Then you fucking, you ice skated across my testicles. Have you done, how many, how many did times a, have you did you did a 360 reach? axle on my butthole yeah, and went right crazy. back. I went, yo. Yeah. Tens. A little tap, balls. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, that makes just, perfect it, sense. It was like a meander. It was just like, she was playing a harp, dude. She was a maiden. Just, doo -doo 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 -doo. She played like the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do back and forth. I'm like, yo, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this song? <laughs> uh, in other news, <laughs> I will tell you that the, the acoustics in this house are, this is fart heaven. Oh. I just, by myself, hitting church farts in here. <laughs> 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 I never thought about it's that. It's wonderful. Oh, my God. You don't even consider it until you hit one and you go, oh. I never even thought about yeah. that. So that's something to consider going forward. I've, Dude, I don't know what it is. I think my body's adjusting to the meat down here because I've been hitting like a farmer's market and getting like, like I had that lamb. I gave you some of that. Yeah. I was like, it, you can taste it, dude. It tastes like you're just like eating the hay of a barn. Some of the fat. I'm like, damn, this is like, this, this is, shit's fresh. Oh. Some of the farts I've been grabbing off these fucking lambs and these beefs, dude, down here. Are well, made. thank you for blessing me with some of the fart lamb. Try it, dude. It, I it will could, have the fart lamb. I didn't know if it was the lamb itself as I was eating some other stuff. I'll be sure to keep you updated. I'll see. I'll check. I'll give you a phone I'll call. I'll have a clipboard tonight. <laughs> I'll give you a phone call. I'll say the lamb works. <laughs> Bring more of that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Not in my heavy chairs. <laughs> Not, Not in the heaviest fucking chairs you've ever seen in your life. True. I Why do like, they make the furniture? The furniture is so heavy. I told you because that way, you, if you're, you know, if you have enough means and enough wealth, you want to see people fucking. Oh yeah, you die. need to, yeah. Just, yeah. just get trapped under one of your chairs, and you go. Most unfortunate. <laughs> the effort must go on. My stuff must be moved. I to must a, have more stuff in here. I'm sick of the view. Bring here. in the heaviest fucking chair you've ever seen in your life. I'm no longer stunned by this view. I want to be stunned yeah. and left aghast. It is not a very stunning view. I mean, it's yeah, nice. true. Well, that's, this is the, this is what happens. Yeah, then everybody's like, well, this is uh, now I'm looking off the edge of a cliff, and you go, all right, I've seen this cliff every yeah. day for fucking two years. What now? Someone goes, do you want to come to my island? You go, you go, what's there? And what go, are you doing? There? <laughs> Don't worry about massages. it. Massages. It is probably something you've seen a lot, but never even thought of with the possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, and you end up sexually blackmailed. Damn, and that's how you know the whole Western world backs. Uh, you know, stuff going on in the world. Yeah, what if, what, what if? I mean, the only thing that stop it is a couple of guys stepping up and being brave and being like, yeah, dude, that is right. That is what I did. Yeah. And I'm not a fan And here's it. a video of it. Yeah, dude. I'd actually like a copy of that video. <laughs> <laughs> Send me that evidence for my personal files. Yeah, I did that and I'm proud of it. 
Yeah. That's got, dude, imagine you're a senator from Iowa, dude. Dude, it wouldn't even have to be. They could have footage of me having sex with a perfectly of age woman. And I'd be like, dude, I will sign whatever bill you want. <laughs> don't ever show anyone me fucking. Dude, Please. Imagine your pence are like some pence derivative and you're like, I'm going to come. <laughs> and they're just watching the video oh. with you and you're like, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, you talking. Yeah, and you still believe in hell? Your pants, and you're like, dude, I'm going to fucking hell. Fuck. Pants would never go to the island. He wouldn't. No, dude. He would never. Pants might be the only good politician we have, dude. This is quickly becoming a very pro Pence podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's an electrifying speaker. Did you see him on the debate? I haven't watched him in, oh, oh dude, no, in the Republican so debate. Funny. I didn't he's watch so it. He's so fucking funny. If the dog's not in it, I'm not watching. I hate watching him without the dog. True. It's it, all it, those guys like taking shots. A lot of pale imitations, dude, yeah, yeah. of the true of the chosen one, dude. <laughs> of the king. <laughs> Pence is funny in the debate. I do wish Trump went there to fucking debate Pence, because that would him versus Pence might be a pretty ultimate debate. Pence is like, I stood up from the Constitution. I when that he would went, be a bloodbath. He would just make fun of him for being his... He'd call him like his little bitch. He'd be so mean to our sweet Pence. I know, dude. Pence fucking dominated... Uh, what's her name? The no. other... The VP... Um, uh, Kamala? Kamala in the... Did he... Remember that? He, de he debated her during the last election. I don't remember that. A fly that. landed on his head, so everyone was making fun of him. God he was damn. destroying that lady. Obviously, Pence yeah. knows his stuff. I mean, that's kind of unfair. They should at least start. They should let, if it's a boy versus a girl debating, they should let the girl debate like for 30 minutes yeah. uninterrupt it. So that's fucking, because you can just be like, wait, what? I'm like, no, -uh, I didn't say that. It's like, hold up, huh? You're getting angry. <laughs> Come on, relax. <laughs> I don't know why you're so loud right now. I didn't yeah, fucking fly landed on his head. And everyone fucking Calls threatened. It. That's the only thing people That fly was about. probably photoshopped, dude. It didn't move. Really? I remember it just sat on his hair for <laughs> the entire debate. To be dude. fair, his haircut looks perfect for a fly, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it looks perfect for a fly. No, it looks like nice, soft snow. <laughs> <laughs> He's got crushed for having a fly on his head. Yeah. He was fucking focused, dude. I mean, you don't see anyone with a fly on their fucking head in politics. For that long, yeah. Fatal mistake, dude. But then again, if he like swap, he could have done a cool pol like politician joke. I mean, like flies down in Arkansas or something else. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I love Arkansas more than anything. <laughs> One thing I love, it's fucking Arkansas. I'd love to talk about the Constitution here. But yeah, hopefully we don't again. Hopefully we don't get dragged into a world war. I've been watching Crystal. Seems like it. Crystal and Sagar. Oh yeah, yeah. They're they're they seem to be worried that we're going to end up in a fucking global world war. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, there's I ran. people hollering about it. I ran. We yeah. should finally attack. Although this does come up every few years. Yeah, like all right, it's time to finally attack Iran. It's like, yeah. Why do we have to? <laughs> don't do it. I mean, I understand they're a destabilizing force in the region. Yeah, but we don't need fuck it. Like, I don't know. To, I, my thing is, have we chilled with them and try to be boys? I don't know. They're pretty fucking intense. Are they nasty? Yeah, they, they hit a lot of death to Americas. Yeah, but dude, you, you know the ancient beef is that they thought they were going to be like Nazis and they weren't allowed to be. Yeah, they thought they were the Iran, true... Iran thought they were the true Aryans. Yeah. They, and they could be, honestly. They, they still might hold be. it down like that. You ever talk to a Persian? No. They're like, yeah, we're white. Yeah, they're, Ar so, they, yeah, they're Aryans. Chill, bro. Uh, dude, no. They, thr they throw chill. up the Hitlers at fucking soccer games. <laughs> Some of those dudes in Iran toss up fucking Sieg Hales. <laughs> I kept it low key, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Not in front of the team. When someone throws me a sig hail, I go, Ooh. <laughs> gotcha. On to the next guy. Go low. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Psych. Thought I was going to be a motherfucking nutsy. Dude, I saw Wes Watson and Adam 22. What were they up to? He, Wes Watson was on No Jumper, dude. What was he talking about? Just his fucking how his parents hate him because he's rich and he's just like. Is so detached from this world and like he doesn't even give a fuck, but he also does buy like cool shit because like that just pumps him up. It was the funniest dude. The interview so they, it made me love him again. I loved Wes Watson yeah. when, when he came out, and I was kind of like I don't know whatever. The interview's so fucking. He's funny. funny. He's so fucking funny. Yeah, he always seemed pretty funny, dude. He he is. Yeah, he's genuine. But it's like he'll just be talking and talking and be like, I mean, that's why I'm just like I I'm on an energy level that just can't be fucked with. He's like, yeah, yeah, my bitch has fake tits and a BBL, dude. He's like. <laughs> It's hot as fuck. 
He's like, if you don't like fake tits, he's like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and he's so funny. And he's so tired because he wakes up at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> so he's always just like, yeah, I just, you know, it's just big ass fake tits. It's like, I can't have a fat bitch with me because I'm thick enough. We look like a couple of fat idiots. Walking. <laughs> just like, this guy's so tired, dude. He's so, I've been making $100,000 a day for longer than I can even fucking remember. I don't <laughs> he's fucking sleepy, know. Dude. He's so sleepy. He was telling Adam uh, Adam 22, he was just like, because it's funny, the whole time Adam 22 is going, I don't know, man, you don't need, he's like, I like eight hours of sleep. He's like, you don't need fucking eight hours. They tell you that to keep you fucking down. Why and, would they ever try to keep us down? Because like they to keep you down, dude. They don't want Why? you making $100,000 from your fitness. You can make $100,000 selling fitness programs with Wes Watson a day. <laughs> And you can move next to him in Go Miami. to sleep. You can still do that. <laughs> no, dude, you can move Go next to him. Go to sleep. Where are you going to be at the Lambo yacht, dude? You move next to him. You can, dude, his two neighbors are boys on his program that have mansions now, dude. He has, there's like four Lambo yachts, dude. He's got one of the four Lambo yachts. And he drives his bitch ass fucking fake tits in a BBL. <laughs> All the bitches in Miami have BBLs, dude. The ratio of hot chicks to dudes is just, it's off. Something's wrong down there. Yeah. And it's just, dude, everyone's winning. Everyone's driving Porsches. Like Everyone's winning in the whole city. The whole city. Everyone's driving Porsches. Fucking everyone's jacked and has BBLs, dude. It's, it's dude, it's, he, he might be my Him favorite. describing that as cool. <laughs> It is really funny. That for real sounds like fucking hell. Yeah, <laughs> just everyone like, oh, we're winning. It's like, Shut up. Miami is a creator's paradise. It's a content creator's paradise, apparently. For some reason, they're all like going to Miami. Taxes. Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> duh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Fuck. But yeah, it was, the interview is kind of funny. Just at, and the whole time, Adam 22, he brings up Coke constantly. So they start talking about haters and then fucking... Uh, <laughs> Adam, I mean, Wes Watson did talk about it a little bit, but he keeps re-bringing it up. And then Wes Watson's talking about, like, these motherfuckers are talking shit on this and that. And, you know, they think of, and then Adam, Adam 22 is like, yeah, dude, like, if I even mention Coke, everyone thinks I'm a Cokehead. I haven't done it in, like, four fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, and he had brought up Coke, like, ten times yeah. in the podcast. Like, if I even bring it up, everyone thinks I'm a fucking Cokehead. Truth is, I haven't done it in four or five fucking years, dude. <laughs> like, it's, dude everyone doing, fucking says I'm on Coke. <laughs> you remember there was a promoter that used to do that in comedy? Yeah, he'd, be, he'd come up to you after a set, drenched in sweat, yep. screaming. Yep, like I don't even do coke. Like, all right, can I, I get fifty bucks? For so the- I just drink coffee late at night. Dude. Yeah, everybody thinks I'm on cocaine all the time, which is fucking crazy. I'm not even doing that, but you had a good set tonight. The way you woke him up. <laughs> like, all right, man. I know. It was just so fucking funny, dude. He's like, yeah. And so right before he said that, he's like, yeah. It's just like you're, he, the guy was talking about like harnessing the energy of. He was like. Wes Watson was claiming, he's like, I don't eat carbs, like, at all until I want to go to sleep. Because, yeah. like, he's like, if you eat all meat, and then right before bedtime, he's like, I just pig on, I eat, like, apple pie, ice cream. And he's like, the insulin spikes and you pass out. He's like, then I wake up at 2.40 in the morning. <laughs> Adam, Adam 22 is like, exactly, man. That's like in the 80s when Coke came, everyone was on Coke. <laughs> and like, yeah, obviously it ruins some people's lives. They end up like homeless crackheads. But if you could have harnessed that power and energy. The cocaine. It's like people who harness that Wolf energy. Of Wall Street. <laughs> if you do Coke the right way. He loves Coke. Dude. Yeah. People could harness that energy went to the next level. I haven't, I haven't gone to the, the well in a while. Of the Coke Cocaine hell? well. Yeah, true. I need to get back in there. Yeah. All this coke talks got me fired you up. Could harness, if you can harness you the energy. You can do lines off that thing. True. I might just suck that thing later. <laughs> it looks like it'd be a fun might, texture to lick. I might suck lines off that. It might it could be flavored. There's only one way to find out if there's keys in there or if it tastes good. Oh. <laughs> Take a bite out of that thing. <laughs> I don't even need coke. I drank my whole fucking matcha down there. Yeah, you're fine. Drank my whole goddamn matcha. I've been drinking. Austin's li- a good town for you. Dude, my stomach pimples went away. Austin is a good town for me. It's super yeah, gluten-free. It gluten-free. There's all types of like matcha and shit. Yeah, dude, matcha, the bone broth. That a lot of like-minded bros. There are. Yeah. I told you, there's that guy. I don't know. Oh, fuck. I wish I remembered his Instagram, but he does a thing where he, I sent you the, the reel where he's like, I, li- I lived in Austin, bro. He calls everyone brother. It makes me, oh, dude, I, I sent you the thing a while ago. He's, he's very funny. He has these reels, these things where it's him. As an Austin guy, he's like, I only let leather, leather and wood touch my body. Brother, have you ever listened to Aubrey Marcus's podcast, brother? He's like, you need to open up your mind, This brother. guy needs to be executed. <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> he only lets leather and wood touch his body. He's kidding. He's a joke. All right, that's funny. Yeah, he's, it's like, yeah, it's all a joke. But it was killing me because I always do say brother all the time. So I was watching it. Yeah. Like, God damn it. Yeah. It's like, brother, brother. you. Gotta- I hung out with too many Muslims for a while and I was saying brother nonstop. Really? <laughs> I'd be like, yes, brother, we need to go there. My- <laughs> brother, please. Yeah, I wish I got remember the guy's name. It was very funny. 
It was not even, it was a Hamid Weinberg. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and who else? It might have been Naeem. Oh, yeah. He was, I was, we were out, I was out with two Oh, Muslims. you had a Muslim weekend. I had a Muslim crew. Oh. All we talked about was brother. Yes, brother. Oh, it's so The tight. prophet, brother. Yeah, Islam's pretty tight. Oh, well, you know what I'm saying. It has its... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Maybe tape my mouth shut, dude. Yeah. Caution. Oh, censor. <laughs> God, yeah. they're trying to censor us, dude. Yeah, we got to go on a Sam Harris tip, dude. We got to just erase religion in general so we can all think about science and be nice to each other through that instead. Should be nice. Is that what he's been yapping science. about? He has always been yapping about that. It's a big thing. If if we could just if we could, he like he's like talking shit on dudes in third world countries just stuck in the Paleolithic age, being like, if they just got rid of their religion, they could yeah. embrace science. It's like, yeah, dude, maybe. Yeah, maybe if they weren't making less than a dollar a day, dude, I'd get real religious if I was that. True. Then you get on the internet and you see Wes Watson being like, I make fucking $100,000 a day. I lift and I Dude. eat fucking pie at night. My bitch has a yeah. BBL. He was sitting there. He's like, Dude, in the parking lot before I came in here, I made $15,000. He's like, I'm making, as, if, as I'm bragging. Why is this the thing on podcast now? Is people bragging about making money? But that's well, their entire identity. Yeah, I mean, because the whole thing is his his whole thing is that he'll if you pay him he'll teach you how to make that much money. So his whole thing is like, oh, damn, I just made a hundred. Oh yeah, bucks. that's obviously it. Yeah, then it, then you can just be like, oh shit, I want to make. You can pay him fifty. He's like, bucks. If you pay me two thousand dollars a month, I'll get. You. He's like, I mean, it's just not even a question. I'll get you to make a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. So it's just selling fitness. Once he trains you in fitness programs, then like you. Once you get it. jacked, everybody's gonna hire you. Yeah, for real. You're gonna become a CEO. Yeah, literally. Think about it. Think how many CEOs are jacked. Jacked and detached. Most of them. You got to get jacked and detached. Most of them are fucking bodybuilders. Huge. Big time. Yeah. I mean, dude, Tim Cook. Swole. <laughs> Jack. Elon Musk. Swole. Jacked. Zuckerberg. <laughs> Zuck. They're jacked. all doing jujitsu now, though. Yeah. Which is a good thing for them to work on. Yeah. As if their bodyguards aren't going to kill anybody that <laughs> ever touches them. <laughs> it's time for them to focus strictly on hand-to-hand -hand combat where the other guy doesn't have a weapon. Are, is Zuck and... Uh, if only Abraham Lincoln had learned jujitsu, he true. would survive. <laughs> true. He would have survived the assassination. He could have survived the, survived the fall from being shot. He could have rolled. He could have rolled and then into it. away. Gone straight to an ankle lock on the ground. <laughs> shot for the legs of Booth. <laughs> Booth was dealing with a broken leg afterwards, too. Was he, he really? Got, yeah, he jumped off the balcony. He shot him and then jumped down onto the stage. I <laughs> mean, his leg. it's kind of, it's kind of. And he's like, you six emperor Tyrannus. <laughs> <laughs> It was like, what a dork. It is funny he said six Semper Tyrant. Was he, he was like against freeing the slaves, I guess? Uh, no, well, he, it was more of a states' rights thing. States' rights, obviously, yeah. <laughs> he was against, I'm sure he was obviously against freeing the slaves. He shot Lincoln. But it was more so like, give us a better price he for cotton. straight states' rights. Yeah, don't tell us, yeah, don't tell us how much it's all yeah. gone for. I, I, did he yell six Semper Tyrannus? I think that's actually like the Virginia motto. Is it really? Which you would think they might have uh, changed that six Semper Tyrannus. Isn't that the... Oh, yeah. Caesar. Oh, uh, okay. What's the... So they what's the like, Virginia state flag look like? <laughs> Six Semper Tyrannus. Virginia this is, this is what we're talking flag. about let's now. See, let's see the, what's the motto there. Yeah, I'd be curious. I could, yeah, see? Six Semper Tyrannus at the bottom. Damn, dude. But... So kill Caesar. Yeah. Become a backstabbing weasel. <laughs> cool, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> and then they tried it again, dude. They tried to stab America in the back, and they got what for? Yeah, true. Now they're for lovers only. Now they're just for lovers. Like, look, we don't want to assassinate leaders. We tried assassinating leaders. That's kind of wild. That's their fucking state flag. It's like a call to assassinating powerful figures. I actually like it. Death to tyrants. It's cool, but it's just like, man, that's aggressive. It What's, is aggressive. We're the keystone. Pennsylvania's the keystone state. Yeah, our motto is like... Uh, Bird in the hands. Fuck no! Bush it's like liberty and justice for all. It's. I think it's just like two words. Oh really? I could be wrong. Liberty zone. Virtue, liberty, and independence. Nice. Delaware is just we're at first. First dibs. <laughs> first, <laughs> first. First date called it here first. <laughs> uh, state mottos are nice, dude. Yeah, they this are is right up my alley. I'm not gonna look away from this. There we go. Dude. Friendship, dude. Texas state motto. Friendship, Friendship, bro. That's tight. The Spanish pronunciation of the local Indian tribe's word, tishas, or thikas, meaning friends or allies. Nice, man. I like that. 
Fuck, man. I thought Texas's logo would have been way more aggressive. It's just for state shit. motto. No, that's actually a good idea. Ours has got to be pretty low. Pennsylvania is just kind of gay. Yeah. Excelsior true. is pretty sick. New York. Excelsior, that is kind of nice. Eureka is California. That's nice, too. That's nice. Dorigo, Latin for I direct. Oro and Plata is tight for Montana. It is. Utah is Utah industry. industry. That's a crap one. Yeah. Tennessee, agriculture and commerce. <laughs> agriculture and commerce. Damn, they hit That's fucking crap. Virginia with 46, except for Tyrannus. Thus always the tyrants. Rhode Island, hope. hope. Tight. Eureka is nice, dude. Eureka it's for the gold, good. dude. They found the gold. Dude, with fun. God, all things are possible. Okay, that's just cheating. You snarky little blogger. Shut up, dude. That's a sick. Under God, the people rule. Tight. South Dakota. And Ohio's is awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. With God, all things are possible. That's what I was just saying. That's a Holy fucking that's shit, a sick one. Dude. South Dakota, under God, the people rule. Tight. Florida, in God we trust, dude. Nice. <laughs> Damn, dude. These state <laughs> mottos are awesome. Look at Colorado's nothing without the deity. Yeah, that's kind of Neil Seal. What the Seal fuck? Lumine. God enriches Arizona. Yeah, dude. Let it be perpetual, Idaho. Let's go. Dude. Whoa, what is this? Michigan's C. Curis, Peninsula, Mammonium, Circumspecies, Tubor. If you seek a pleasant peninsula, look about you, and I will defend. Michigan's is gay. Yeah, Michigan's is about peninsulas. Fuck that peninsula. For real, that's that's a pause, dude. Why are you why are you yeah, so into yeah, peninsulas? It's a big dude? pause for the Wolverines, dude. <laughs> if you see a fucking peninsula in my pants, just touch Ooh, it. Ooh, I, I like, like New Mexico. Friend. That's mine. <laughs> it grows as it goes. <laughs> it grows as it goes. I'm gonna say, hold on. How do you pronounce that? And Crescit. Cre- how do you say that? You think Crescit? Crescit. Yundo. Yundo. That's what I'm gonna tell a lady. It grows as it grows. I'm just gonna dude. whisper in her ear. I'm gonna go Crescit <laughs> I say what? I'll go. It's a look, Google it after. Damn, that's, your organ's nice too. She flies with her own wings. These seem to be getting worse. Yeah, maybe it is the number one. Indiana, the crossroads of America, is kind of tight. Yeah, I like that. Jersey, liberty and prosperity, all for our country. Yeah, they're definitely getting worse. Yeah, state sovereignty. Yeah, this. What's the number one? It's gotta be live free or die. Yeah, they dude. If they hate on that, that's fucking bullshit. Yeah, best. Let me see number one. Union, justice, and confidence. Louisiana. To the stars through adversity. All right, Kansas. I long to see what is beyond. Minnesota's is nice. Yeah. Excelsior is fucking tight. Excelsior is great. Yeah, I kind of like that. Well, I breathe, I hope. South Carolina. Washington is just by and by. The fuck? North of the future. Slow down, slow down, Joshua. Damn, dude. We're number two on the rankings. This has to be worse. Wyoming, equal rights. New Hampshire, live free or die. I knew it was number one. I knew these mother. So that's the, so this is number one though. Is this the, I can't tell what's the best and what's the worst. Whatevs. No, they're saying it's good. Oh, tight. Yeah, live free or die is tight. Virtue, liberty, independence. I think they're just ranked, or they're just being like, "Yo, this fucking stinks." Well, live free or die does rule. Yeah, I mean, I'll give them that. Yeah, I'll go for <laughs> Does it say it on there? It says don't tread on me, I wish. Fuck. I mean it's like pretty close. It's like it six Emperor Tyrannus. Don't tread it on is. me. It is. That's happening. also New Hampshire. hmm Yeah. Or is it Vermont? Oh, I don't it's know. It's one of them. It's one. Yeah, I think it might be Vermont. I saw a dude the with Gadsden a tank. Flag. I saw a dude with a tank on the other day and I was just like, You're what's up, bro? He had a tank oh, he was rocking a tank top. Yeah. And it said Apparently though, that. this is like a far right hate symbol now, so I'm kinda like, God dang it. Certainly. Oh man. I told you, but it's, it's what I get. <laughs> yeah. Because I was at a college party and a dude had a big Iron Eagle on his leg. Yeah. He's like, he's like my German heritage. I'm like, dude, you got a Nazi Bro. tattoo, you dumbass. And I was making <laughs> yeah. fun of him in a room full of people. Yeah. All laughing at this dude's tattoo. And then I here I go and get a fucking this. I'm like, this is cool. Five years later, they're like, white supremacy, far you right. Fucking like, Nazi. God damn. That's, that is what I get, though. <laughs> For, dude, I was crushing this dude. That might come back around soon and be very liberal and cool to be True. to be anti-Semitic and a Nazi. True. So <laughs> if you play your cards right, you're going to be very liberal here in a couple of years. True. Yeah. Yeah, I just got to wait and bide my time. I am ready to it's be coming li- back around. I'm ready dude. to be lib, dude. You are libbed as fuck. Might fall all apart. The whole thing might come crashing down, dude. Independent party. Not, dude, not the fucking ceiling. I'm talking about the duopoly of the two party system. I know, but I mean, what a metaphor. True. This is it. Zero. True. Oh, no. The duopoly. The duopoly could fall, dude. If Kim- RFK is about to ruin Trump. Yeah, you think so? He's going to take those votes, brother. Yeah, dude. What about He's Biden? take the Trump dog's votes. 
what if the Trump could tap him, dude? Like, brother, just join me. Do your time. You'll come. You'll be Rise. next, dude. I'm doing one more time. Damn, that's a CIA fucking wet dream, dude. Both those guys in a car together. <sighs> <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> They're like, well, we're gonna drone strike it. An IAD must have made it back over here from Afghanistan. Somehow those sons of bitches over in Palestine got over here and <laughs> fucking flew a drone and blew up the car. Hamas blew up our president vice. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, the Air Force One would be <laughs> stay off. <laughs> just just get blown up immediately. <laughs> I was on a plane with Rogan, and I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> dude." True. They shoot. That was back when he he's, was. He's yeah. a fucking yeah. He's a dude, especially in an election year. It's like yeah, someone would love to see that dude's plane explode. Yeah. He he sways millions of votes. Yeah. It's like yeah, they could easily put the put the button on him and be like, all right, that's about enough of that. I I've seriously like dude. He's of a, course. He is, I literally sat on a plane and thought about it for two straight hours. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it was when it was in the middle of the vaccine thing. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit, they're going to blow this plane up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. They made out like bandits off that thing. What, the vaccination? Oh my God. Yeah. They're trying. They're trying to play it back. Now it now it's like Jason goes to space. I will say, though, point. I got wrecked by whatever that fucking cold I had was. <laughs> True. <yeah. laughs> so, I mean, I think it is going around again. Yeah. But guess what? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, I'm back, dude. I'm stronger than True. I was. Stronger than ever. <laughs> Heart's great. Where where are we at time wise, Josh? Uh, we're at an hour four. Ooh, All right, great. God. I got a whiz anyway. Yeah, let's pick. Let's switch over to the beautiful Patreon. The motherfucking Patreon. Thank you, Patreon. For oh, I have a uh, I have something I want to talk to you about on the Patreon. Oh, that's have exciting a, stuff. It's it's a Patreon only thing too. I'm gonna do something for the bros. Okay. Hold me to it, dude. Hold my feet to the fire. I'm making a promise. Don't make me hold your feet. To the <laughs> hold my feet to the my digital, digital fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a promise, dude. And I will deliver. Look at those powerful ro rocks and crystals in there. Oh my God. Those are real diamonds. Yeah, obviously, dude. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Stolen from the mummies, I team. can't wait for a cold day down here in Texas so I can warm my oh. lay by my digital fire with the fur blankets. That'll be nice. Those lovely fur blankets. Just vape. Just fucking jack off in front of the digital fire. Oh, you got a nice view of it outside from here, too. I could, oh my God, I'd crank one out by this window. Oh, yeah, you'd see all the foliage. Yeah, your fence is just like my fence, dude. He blocks your, na your neighbors, like it's my just fucking enough. Fucking bitch ass neighbors trying to watch me jack off they by the digital fire. Out. Just pull the curtain, just go. <laughs> Pull the curtains, my guys. Yeah, for real. I'll slam these see-through curtains. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's the scariest part, dude. What? Oh, laying God. on this couch trying to watch the baseball game, thinking, God damn. Yeah, somebody's gonna sneak back here and boo. Have my have their way with me. I might. I might give you a Halloween <laughs> if fright. You do that. Halloween's I do have a handgun now. I will put you down. <laughs> I can scare you. I'm fuck holding out the trigger. Here, dude. I watch TV with a gun like this. I want to get a ladder and go up to like the high windows up there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just a Halloween. If you mask. do that, I'm gonna wear a ski mask and break into your house <laughs> and hold your family hostage. Dude. <laughs> It'll be a fun prank we both do to each other. <laughs> I'm gonna rub a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fucking. Kill you if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would die. I'd be a goat. I'd be a fainting goat. If you, if I was in this kitchen and saw you up there, I would faint. I would lay on the ground. I'm gonna rent a horse and get a suit so I have no <laughs> head. I told you we did that to a kid. Right? No. We went to my friend, uh, a friend of mine who has since, oh, goddamn pants, who has since gone to uh, prison for murder. Oh no! So I thought it was more of a fun game. At the time when we were mm. kids, he took it into real life. <laughs> <laughs> we went to this other kid's house that we kind of knew. We didn't know him that well. We had a BB gun. Oh. He was watching TV in the basement. We stood at his sliding glass window and tapped on it. It was like this. <laughs> <laughs> we were kids. All right? For the record, we were very young kids. But I'll never forget, the kid did the right thing. He, he like spazzed and then slammed the lights off and hit. Whoa. He was smart enough to turn the lights <laughs> that's off. so funny. <laughs> Tap a Just gun. be like, ha. <laughs> like, dude, that's the scariest thing of all time. I didn't do it. The guy who eventually got arrested for murder. He's yeah. the one who did it. Told you, we spooked my friend. We told him, we like, first of all, we just watched him. He was in a finished basement rapping alone to Eminem. I don't know <laughs> if he did it, by the way, for the record. Oh, right. true. True. He, yeah, true. He might not have. My friend was, we like spied on him in his, he was in a basement. He was, he was sitting down there like in a mirror rapping along to Eminem. So we just yeah. watched him rap alone. Oh, <laughs> and we just Jesus watched him. Christ, it was just dude. the howling laughing through his window. Oh my God. And then he, we started like making noises and stuff. And then he went upstairs and we went to his brother. We started like throwing rocks at his window. So he got all like kind of freaked out. And we went to his brother's window and we were like, yo. What friend is this? 
Bert. We yeah. got Bert. I'll watch that. One. 100% that was Bert. Dude. I'm going to have Bert back and reprise his Both role. Both of our friends that have been in and out of the year. Dude, I got him. And then that's when we went to his brother and we we're like, yo, it's us. Just just play along. And we we had his brother tell him that there were dudes outside with bandanas that wanted to beat his ass. That like he like he talked shit to us. So they were from the public school that's wanted to beat his ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> what did he do? He was just giving messages to his brother, like, yo, ask him what the fuck they want. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, we saw you rapping, you fucking dork. <laughs> fuck you guys. He really can. He could take he could take it better, I think, than anyone else, Paul, is, as a joke. Yeah. He you could just fucking lay into him and he just laughs. He's like, fuck you, dude. Just caught cold rap and Eminem out. I mean, in that the could mirror. happen to any of us. Dude. I know, of course, dude. Obviously, I've listened to music and rapped. <laughs> in the basement, dude, in the in mirror. The basement by yourself. Just <laughs> I know, I know. fuck. Just cold busted, dude. Yeah, it was the best. What year was it? Was this around eight mile? Yeah, this was like we were in high school, so it was probably yeah. before pre eight mile. Maybe yeah, no, that would have been eight mile. Was it? What, what year did it come out? Oh, four, oh three. Yeah, that would have been about okay. Because I was in college in oh four, two thousand two thousand two. You're right. So I would have. You would have been. You're absolutely right. That would. That's have been, why he was freestyling down there. He, dude, he absolutely was. Yeah. He what was else? Losing, are you he was losing himself. <laughs> he was losing himself, dude. Oh, you did a good. You cleared that search before you came down here, didn't you? I do. I do a lot of podcasts. So there's a lot of weird, <laughs> yeah, yeah. a lot of weird searches. God damn! If my Google search was up there, crazy. I shit. Can't, who knows what I'm googling? True. I lay on the couch and I think of something and I'm like, and just bring it right up. Yeah. My my stuff's fucking bullshit. Mine's all like, is turmeric anti-inflammatory? <laughs> <laughs> Does black pepper with turmeric help absorb better? Yeah, I think our Google searches are exactly what you think they are. <laughs> Mine's like, what year did, what college did Mike Allstock go to? What year did he graduate from Purdue? You just remind yourself. Yeah, no, I do. Over. Dude, I did. Oh, man. Never mind. I was looking at the, the NFL's top players, top 100 players. Yeah. I was like, I wonder how many colleges I could get. <laughs> I didn't get any. I just sat there. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah I knew that one that counts <laughs> oh yeah I also thought I was good at Jeopardy I've been watching Jeopardy every day I thought I was good you are at, pretty good at Jeopardy yeah I'm good at Jeopardy in my own head better than me the, it, you, when you do it publicly oh yeah you're like I knew that one see I thought you I do was do it by yourself in your own head you're right like, I knew that one I got that right I thought I was nasty at Jeopardy until I watched it with you and I'm like Shane's actually nasty I'm at Jeopardy. pretty good at Jeopardy yeah I was like you're actually pretty nasty I was just like I definitely know this stuff and I don't know anything that's it that's how it happens if you watch it by yourself you're like I knew that one <sighs> oh yeah yeah right as yeah. soon as they say it, like I would have got that account <laughs> so far I've gotten every single one right <laughs> <laughs> all right all right where you go going, where are you going to next Let's uh, our cool shows. I'm going to Oh, I'm going to Alabama. Now that being gay is the new coolest thing. True. I'm headed to the gayest state in America. <laughs> Alabama. I'm going down to Alabama. I'm headed down Alabama way. Nice. On a Thursday. And this then fr Friday, Saturday, I'm going to go to the LSU Alabama football game. This week? Uh, next weekend. Nice. This weekend, I'm going to go to the Texas BYU football Ooh. game here in lovely Austin. I'm visiting my nephew's birthday party this week. You got to go back to Philly? Yeah. Dang, definitely. I was going to invite you to come to the Texas uh, BYU football yeah. game. What day are you going? Saturday, yeah, I'll, be sticky I'll be on a goddamn flight. Um, I'll be in Madison, Wisconsin. Ooh, Comedy Zone, North Charlotte, North Carolina. Cap ooh. City is going to sell out here in Austin, Texas. Way, Magoobies. These are all great clubs. Yeah, Magoobies, uh, Timonium, Maryland, Zanies, Nashville, and Hyenas, Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas. Ethan's got Ethan's doing a good job. Those are for real. Like awesome. the best, those are like the best clubs. Yeah, dude, that's yeah. going to be a blast. Yeah, those are going to be awesome. You're going to get done with that stretch and go. I'm ready to film. Yeah, I'm Make a, sure you toss in a dud club in there. Oh, it's Magoobs can keep you humble. Magoobs, <laughs> Magoobs yeah. can keep you humble. I went to the, the last. The last three were pretty humble making clubs. Yeah, the last three were Rochester, Bakers, Bakersfield was a humble yeah. maker. Dude. Rochester was humble pie. My Pacific Northwest trip was a bit of humble pie. Yeah, you know, tall ceiling rooms, laughter dissipates. It's rooms. like people I, are people are cracking up out there. I just can't. People really are tell. Lovely, but you can't feel the laughs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So that'll be fun. Um. All right, let's switch over to the Patreon. Let's go. 